grade 9 the fundamental unit of life part 1 ncert textbook questions and answers page number 59 who discovered cells and how answer cells were discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665 he observed cells in a cork slice with the help of a primitive microscope the cork slice resembled the structure of a honeycomb consisting of many small compartments or box like structures who called these boxes as cells page number 59 question number 2 why is the cell called the structural and functional unit of life answer all living organisms are made up of cells which perform various functions essential for the survival of the organisms this is the reason why cells are referred to as the basic structural and functional units of life page number 61 question number 1 how do substances like carbon dioxide and water move in and out of the cell discuss answer the cell membrane is selectively permeable and regulates the movement of substances in and out of the cell the movement of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide and other gases move in and out of the cell from a region of higher concentration that is inside the cell and towards a region of lower concentration that is outside the cell movement of water the water moves in and out of the cell by the process of osmosis osmosis is the diffusion of water from a region of its high concentration to low concentration through a semi permeable membrane page number 61 question number 2 why is the plasma membrane called a selectively permeable membrane answer the plasma membrane is called a selectively permeable membrane because it allows entry and exit of some selected molecules only through the cells it also prevents movement of some other materials page number 63 question number 1 fill in the gaps the in the following table illustrating differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells answer prokaryotic cell size is generally small eukaryotic cell size is generally large in prokaryotic cells nuclear region is pure poorly defined due to the absence of nuclear membrane and is known as nucleoid in eukaryotic cells nuclear region is well defined and surrounded by a nuclear membrane 
in prokaryotic cells chromosomes are single chromosome is single in eukaryotic cells more than one chromosome in prokaryotic cells membrane bound cell organelles are absent but in eukaryotic cells membrane bound cell organelles are present page number 65 question number 1 can you name the two organelles we have studied that contain their own genetic material answer mitochondria and plastids are the two cell organelles that contain their own genetic material page number 65 Question number 2 If the organization of a cell is destroyed due to some physical or chemical influence what will happen Answer If the organization of a cell is destroyed due to some physical or chemical influence then the ability of the cell to perform various basic functions would be affected the cell will not be able to revive and lysosomes will digest it page number 66 question number 3 Why are lysosomes known as suicidal suicide bags? Answer: Lysosomes contain powerful digestive enzymes. During the disturbance in cellular metabolism, lysosomes may burst and digest their own cell. Therefore, they are called suicidal bags of the cell. page number 65 question number 4 where are protein synthesis inside the cell answer the proteins are synthesized in the ribosomes that are also known as protein factories page number 66 question number 1 make a comparison and write down ways in which plant cells are different from animal cells in plant cells plant cells have a cell wall in animal cells don't have a cell wall two plant cells contain chloroplast animal cells don't have chloroplast plastids are present in plant cell plus plastids are absent in animal cells except euglena four permanent in large vacuoles are present in plant cells vacuoles are may are many small and temporary in animal cells plant cells do not have centrosome animal cells have centrosome plant cells in plant cells many simple units of golgi apparatus are present they are called dicto dictasomes are present animal cells have prominent golgi apparatus are present page number 66 question number 2 how is prokaryotic cells different from eukaryotic cell 
prokaryotic cells in cell size is generally small in eukaryotic cell cell size is generally large in prokaryotic cell nuclear region is called a nucleoid and is not surrounded by nuclear membrane but in eukaryotic cell nuclear region is well defined surrounded by nuclear membrane in prokaryotic cell single chromosome is present in eukaryotic cell more than one chromosome is present Pro in prokaryotic cell nucleolus is absent but in eukaryotic cell they are present nucleolus is present in prokaryotic cell membrane bounded cell organelles are absent membrane bound cell organelles are present in eukaryotic cells in prokaryotic cell cell division is take place by binary fission and budding in eukaryotic cell cell division are take place by mitotic and meiotic cell division page number 66 Question number three: What would happen if the plasma membrane ruptures or breaks down? Answer: If the plasma membrane ruptures or breaks down, then the cell will not be able to exchange materials from its surroundings by osmosis or diffusion. This may lead ultimately to the death of the cell. page number 66 question number 4 what would happen to the life of a cell if there was no golgi apparatus answer golgi apparatus has the function of storage modification and packaging of the products in ves vesicles if there were no golgi apparatus then the packaging and transporting of the materials synthesized by the cell will not be happen page number 66 question number 5 which organelle is known as the power house of the cell why answer mitochondria is called the power house of the cell they are so called because they carry out the process of aerobic respiration and generate energy molecules in the form of atp adenosine triphosphate for various chemical activities needed for life page number 66 question number 6 where do the lipids and proteins constituting the cell membrane get synthesized answer lipids are synthesized in smooth endoplasmic reticulum ser proteins are synthesized in rough endoplasmic reticulum rer page number 66 question number 7 how does an amoeba obtain its food answer an amoeba obtain its food by using the process of endocytosis in which the flexibility of the cell membrane enables the cell to engulf in food and other materials from its surroundings page number 66 question number 8 what is osmosis 
Answer. Osmosis is a process of diffusion of water from a region of its higher concentration to a region of lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. Page number 66. Question number 9. Carry out the following osmosis experiment. Take four peeled potato halves and squeeze each one out of to make a potato make potato cups. One of these potato cups should be made from a boiled potato. Put each potato cup in a trough containing water. Now A keep cup A empty. B put one teaspoon sugar in cup B. C Put 1 teaspoon salt in cup C. Put 1 teaspoon sugar in the boiled potato cup D. Keep these for 2 hours. Then observe the 4 potato cups and answer the following. One, <coughs> explain why water gathers in the hollowed portion of B and C. Answer, the water gathers in the hollowed portion of B and C is due to the process of osmosis. Concentration of solute is higher inside the cup than water. Hence, Water flows from a region of its higher concentration to a region of lower concentration to a semi-permeable membrane. Question number two. Why is potato A necessary for this experiment answer potato is necessary for this experiment for comparison it acts as a control question number three explain why water does not gather in the hollowed out portions of a and d answer water does not gather in the hollow portion of A and D because 1. Hollow portion of potato A is empty and there is no concentration difference. So, no osmosis. 2. The hollowed portion of potato D, the cells are dead by boiling and hence the semi-permeable membrane does not exist for the flow of water and no osmosis take place.